before watching the video, you should probably know the lighting's a bit iffy. And I'm sorry about that. But anyways, let's get right on into my 2015 roundup. Um, it's kind of feeling like it's gonna rain. I mean, I'm kind of feeling like it's gonna rain because the wind keeps blowing. So if you hear that in the background, because I can, I mean, if you can, sorry, I'm really sorry, but yes, it's annoying me too. Um, so today I'm going to be sharing my 2015 roundup, um, which is basically just all my favorites of 2015. Or not all my favorites, but just like my top, top, top favorites of like, and some of these you've, if you've watched my other like previous um, favorites videos, you might have also seen these. But yes, I surprisingly don't have too many like favorites of the entire year that I actually wanted to include in this video, which is definitely surprising to me considering I use lots of products. So we are just going to get right on into the video. So for the first product, it's a lip product. I have talked about these Dior um, Addict Glosses in the past in some of my favorites. And I still love them. They're honestly amazing. I got a couple more for my birthday um, over the holidays because if you do not know, my birthday is December 24th. Um, I will have a what I got for Christmas video coming shortly. I wanted to actually post that like the day you're watching this instead of this video. But um, I actually had to ship all my stuff to this house because I actually spent Christmas up in Kansas this year. Um, as I did last year also, but yeah, um, I had to ship it and it's still not here yet So I can't really show you what I got for Christmas if I don't have the items with me But definitely stay tuned for that because that's coming. But anyways, I got a couple of these for my birthday um, For my brother who actually watched my video to figure out um, that I loved them um, And this one is probably my favorite out of all the ones I have um, Mainly just because it's such a nice pinky color. It's like an everyday color that you can wear and it's just really great staying on the Dior train. I I always forget that this doesn't like pop off like a lipstick. Well, it is lipstick, but it doesn't like whoosh, it actually pops off just by that. Um, but it's a Dior Addict Extreme lipstick, and again with the pinky like nude color. I actually use this um, as my lipstick, and then I actually put that gloss that I just showed you on top of it which turns out to be so pretty. It lasts all day long. I have never once had to touch up the lip gloss or lipstick itself. It's honestly amazing. And since it's a pinky like nude color, if you're eating at a restaurant, even if it like kind of smudges a little bit, it does, it still looks really pretty because it's a pinky nude. So it's just super natural. It's not like a red lipstick, you know, where it gets on your teeth. This is the YSL, um, I forgot what they call their line exactly, um, but yes, it's one of their lipsticks, and again, with the pink colors, I had to include this, it's beautiful, okay, not gonna lie, this is gonna look absolutely horrendous when I show you what the lipstick itself looks like, look at that. Yes, I know, you're probably thinking, what? Um, I actually use this color, um, I use a lip, um, like, brush. Anyways, I use a brush to apply this on my lips, so that's why there's kind of a weird indention face product. This is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. Yes, I had to print, I had to just say that entire thing out loud. Um, this is amazing. If you're looking for a good, like, foundation, this stuff is great. Um, I've recently like hopped onto the Clinique bandwagon, I guess you could say, because I have a, I got a lot of products from them recently, or not recently, the past couple of months. I've just been really like drawn towards their products. It's such like a natural line, and I think that's why I love it so much. Um, cause don't you always see those Instagram photos of a girl who has like either zero makeup or very very beautiful natural makeup? And you just wish, can that be me? Like, honestly, that's me most of the time when I'm on Instagram. Because, like, yes, you love to go out with your makeup. Like, go big or go home, as we say in Texas. Um, but sometimes you really want to have a day where you look just, like, 
a goddess sent from above and like you just want to look that way and Clinique has that kind of makeup if you're wanting that makeup look again with the face product um, this is a highlight and Becca and Jaclyn Hill champagne pop honestly Everyone has heard of it. If you haven't, where have you been? This is honestly, since the day it came out, this is the only highlight I have ever used. It is just so pigmented. I like just can't even get enough of it. For the next product, it's mascara. So this is the Givenchy um, Noir Couture Volume Mascara in black taffeta. Um, not gonna lie, I think I was originally drawn to this because of the packaging itself. It just looks really cool to me. Um, so I was just in Sephora one day and I was needing, I was like kind of wanting a new mascara because I had just been using drugstore for the past couple of months. And then I was like, let's go check out Givenchy. Why not? Because I know ne I never had really tried out any of their products a lot. Um, I usually go for like Clinique, Dior, like Benefit, whatever. I never really go for this or, yeah, I just had never really gone for it. So I was like, let's try out something by them because I always try out these other products and I really need to like step out of my comfort zone a little. When I got it and I first tried it out, I immediately fell in love with it. It didn't take me a couple weeks like how some people like how for some people it takes a couple of weeks for me it, like the instant I put it on it was like love at first sight for the next product and the last makeup product is a brow kit thing my bobber by the way I have like so many swatches on my hands from like doing the swatching part I guess you could say of the video like the little pop-ups of it anyways Everyone has heard of Anastasia Beverly Hills. They're like the goddess of brow products, I guess you could say. Um, I have tried out every single brow thing. I've put, tried their brow gel, their pencil, and the powder. Do they have any other brow stuff? If they do, haven't tried that part out. I've just tried those two other things. But the gel is just too hard to work with for me personally because if I mess up on my brows, it's kind of hard to get it off and I don't really want to use makeup remover to keep removing it over and over and over and over again. Um, and then for their pencil, it was just really hard. I did not like it. Like, I don't, I've never liked pencils, not even pencil like eyeliner or anything. I hate it. I hate it. Yes, I've hated those products, like I absolutely despise those Anastasia products. Um, I'm more of the brow powder kind of girl, and then when I found out that they actually had a brow powder, I was like, I need to get that. I had tried those two products out in the past, and then I was like, I'm done with this. I threw them out, I was like over them. And then I went to my Naked Basics palette because I um, had like been using their faint color in the palette, like just the regular Naked Basics, not the Naked 2 or whatever, Naked 2 Basics or whatever it's called. I don't know, even though I own that, yet I don't know its name. I loved that and I had been, I ran out, I hit pan on that color and I was like, I really want that color again, but they obviously don't sell the color separately, like just that singular color. I was originally going to Sephora to get that faint color, and then I went over to um, Anastasia to just, like, just kind of look around because everyone had raved about their like brow products. And I was like, let me give one of their products one more go, see how I like it. Um, and then I was looking at their like little section and I was like, brow powder, score! And I've loved it ever since still keeping somewhat in the like face department is um a mask i'm sure everyone has heard of this mask it's the origins um charcoal mask now i had heard about this i think originally on rachel talbot in one of her like either skincare routines or like nightly routines i'm not exactly sure which one and she had talked about this product and i was like that was when I guess I kind of first started getting into face masks because before that I had really just done my skincare routine. I had never really tried out a face mask. Um, and if I did, it probably wasn't a very nice one. It was probably just a cheap one from like Target. Um, but yes, I saw this and I'd been kind of hearing them around like the YouTube area or just on Instagram kind of in general. 
and I had really been wanting to try out a mask for a while and I was like okay I went to Sephora one day um, and I kind of looked around at their like face masks and I was like I really just want to get this um, I didn't want to get the full version of it because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not because obviously it works completely differently on everyone's skin types it works on all different kind of skin types and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work for me personally so I saw that they had a mini version but they were completely out of stock of it I was like okay I'll just get this large version um, it was kind of expensive thankfully it worked out in the end and I ended up loving it so kind of moving away from the makeup department is nails um, I personally like to paint my own nails. I'm not much of like the kind of person who likes to go out and get my nails done. I just don't have the patience for that. So I like to paint my own nails and this year I have just really been loving, or at least for these past six months, I have been loving this Essie color. Um, I paint my nails with Essie all the time, but this shade, it's gorgeous. It's in the shade Wicked and it's actually a mini version. I I think I got this in 2014, like during Christmas, and I originally really just wanted a dark nail color um, for fall because I love painting my nails dark shades. I think it just looks nice. I don't know. I just really fell in love with this shade. Um, so right when my nails started chipping, I repainted over it for like the next six months. So moving on to clothing and shoes and all that for this year. Um, I actually have a lot more than I usually have in like my past favorites, which is kind of surprising. So starting with the shoes, these bad boys. I have had these in I think previous favorites videos. They are um, Top by Topshop. They're just like little booties. Um, they do still sell them, which is nice. I got them one day when I was at the Galleria with my sister and my mom and um, her husband. And I had really just been wanting a good pair of like booties because um I had had like some other ones but they were just like cheap ones from Target and I was like I really want a good pair and Topshop had just such amazing stuff and they obviously have great reviews because they're awesome um but yes I have loved these ever since they I honestly either wear them every day or every other day compared to the sh next shoes I'm going to show you so these are just so great so for the second and last pair of shoes they're really simple. They're Converse. They're my black Converse. I wear Converse pretty much every day of the year. I either wear these shoes or I wear those booties I just showed showed you. Um, those were honestly just like lifesavers throughout the year. Because when I want to be still cute but kind of very casual, I wear these. And then when I want to just look really, really cute one day, I'll wear the booties. Like, it's honestly a perfect mixture. They're honestly just, like, great things to invest in, um, especially Converse. I have two awesome purses. The first one is this purse. It's great. Um, it's a purse I actually got in 2014 um, for Christmas. Um, I got it from my brother. He's awesome. Anyways, um, I... Anyways, we had this long conversation, me, him, and my sister, and just pretty much almost my entire family, about me never using this purse. When I first got it, like, when I first get any item, I don't use it right off the bat. I'm just very strange like that. It takes me a couple months to actually start using it, or even six months. It took me that long to actually start using this. Um, sorry, Connor. I love it. It's great. Um, and I started using it during the summertime, and I was like... I just automatically fell in love with it. It's obviously a very small purse, but it's just, it looks not only gorgeous, but it goes with everything. It's, I, I, words can't explain how awesome this is. So I have actually used this as a clutch. It's not a clutch, it's a crossbody. And it comes with like a little chain. I either use this purse on the daily. Um, I actually just recently got a new purse, which I'm actually going to show you that I've been using. Um, but before that, I just honestly wore this every single day. I didn't wear any other purse. Um, my purses were just stored at the very top of my shelf in my closet. They were just sitting there, and I was like, I'm sorry, but I love this purse. Okay, so this purse, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. 
Um, I had been really wanting a purse for this actually for quite a long time because I'd seen this purse on Instagram like everywhere for quite a while or either like something similar to this, um, probably not this exact one, but just something similar to this. By the way, can you guys hear my voice? I'm like, <clears throat> it keeps getting high pitch. I'm definitely losing it. Um, this winter weather is just making me very like groggy. Um, my sinuses are just horrible and my voice, I've actually been sick lately, like recently, I was just really sick and I felt so gross. Um, and I thought I was getting better, but I guess not. My throat still hates me. I probably just need to drink a lot more water. Um, so yes, I'm sorry about my voice. But yes, this purse is gorgeous. It's from Zara. Um, my sister had actually just wanted to go out to the new Zara that they built um, at my shopping mall because they built an outdoor center. Um, it's obviously an indoor area, but they had just recently added on to it um, a big portion, actually. And she wanted to go check it out, and I was like, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Um, <clears throat> I actually didn't want to go that day because I had to finish editing a video and uploading it because it was getting really late. Um, but yes, um, I saw this and I was like, it's a dream. It's so pretty. So it's got like some, like, what do you call it? Crocodile snake skin on the back. And then it has fur on it, which is so gorgeous. Um, so it has two sections of it. Um, like the first part, which is actually kind of hard to get stuff in. And then this main part, which is a lot easier. I actually have a bunch of junk in it. I don't know if you can tell because I've been using this. It has like my wallet and everything in it. Um, it doesn't have like a um, chain strap like the Gucci purse did. This has like a leather strap, which you can actually like change the size of it by this, which is really nice, but I love it. It's beautiful. Me and my sister actually got matching ones, so we're twinning. Okay, so for the last clothing, shoe, purse item, I guess you could say, is my leather jacket. I actually honestly don't remember where I got this from. Oh, it's free people actually. Free people. I did not realize that. I had always just thought I got it at Saks Fifth Avenue for some reason. Don't know. Yes, I've had this for like a year or two and it's honestly just been like the best thing ever. It's lasted me for so long. Um, it is getting kind of old, not gonna lie. Um, but it's, I just love it so much. Um, I've been wearing it so much um, lately. I wear it pretty much with everything. A leather jacket honestly can go with absolutely anything you pair it up with. Like it'll go with my outfit that I'm wearing right now, which is honestly just jeans and a sweater. But this can just make a whole outfit look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so moving on to like favorite shows um, of this entire year. Again, if you've watched any of my previous favorites videos, you know that I love this. It's Chuck. It's honestly such an awesome show. It's so great. It's on Netflix, for one. Um, but yes, it's basically about this guy named Chuck. His real name is Charles, but he goes by Chuck. <clears throat> His name's Chuck Bartowski. Um, so basically, he's this guy who works at a buy more, kind of like a Best Buy but it's called Buy More, um, and it's based out of California, and he basically gets this random email one night <clears throat> from his college roommate. Um, this was like years ago that they knew each other. His college roommate, um, Bryce Larkin, just randomly sent him an email out of the blue. They were actually friends um, years ago, but he got kicked out of Charles, or Chuck. He ended up getting kicked out of the college he went to Full, like Bryce got him kicked out basically that's what happened Chuck basically thinks Bryce is like an accountant um, and he just sends him an email and basically when he opens it it comes up with a riddle that you have to like unlock the actual email itself and it was a riddle from like a game they them two had created in their college days um, and he opens it up and it's just this series of thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures and he ends up watching it, like, completing it all, and, um, it, like, jumps forward to the morning, like, making it seem like those pictures took forever. Anyways, turns out his buddy Bryce Larkin is in the CIA. Yes. Um, he was uncovering some, like, top secret information about 
what's called the intersect. CIA and the NSA start coming after him and trying to get the intersect, which Charles or Chuck doesn't know exactly what they're talking about. Basically, right before Bryce Larkin sent that email, he destroyed the intersect itself, which is basically a top secret computer in a big room and it holds all of the government secrets. And Bryce Larkin ends up dying because he sent those emails to Chuck. Um, and now it's the, just like the series just goes on about them trying to like kind of rebuild the intersect and Chuck ends up helping them out. There's, they kind of just build this great friendship and this great team. They're kind of just running away from bad guys who are actually trying to get the intersect and none of the people actually know that it's in his brain. It's really interesting if you're into like the crime part but also kind of comedy part of TV. Um, I would definitely recommend it to you. Okay, so for my second and final show, it's Sherlock. Um, I love BBC films personally. Um, I love Doctor Who. BBC One is really a show that's just kind of intrigues you. Their storylines go so in depth. It's insane. It's so interesting. Um, but yes, Sherlock. Um, it's also on Netflix actually. And I just actually started watching this like just yesterday or two days ago. Um, <laughs> and I just loved it so much that I had to include it in this video. So it's basically just about Sherlock Holmes. Um, he meets this guy named Watson who was a like army military doctor. Um, and I believe it was Iraq he was like placed in. I'm not sure. Anyways, he ended up leaving the military because he hurt his leg. He got shot in the act and um, he just ended up coming back to London trying to figure out just kind of what he wanted to do. Anyways, he meets Watson, which is actually, his name is John Watson, but he calls him Watson. Watson needs a place to stay. So basically, he needs a place to stay. His old friend who he was in the army with ends up talking to him and says, oh, I know this guy who can, who needs like someone to help like pay rent or whatever, um, which ends up being Sherlock. And Sherlock is a consulting detective, as he likes to call himself. He helps the police when they need help, um, which, as he likes to say, is always. Um, but yes, he likes to call himself a consulting detective. He does not like to be called a private detective. He hates that word. Um, <clears throat> anyways, him and Watson build this friendship, and they kind of become, like, partners in crime, literally, because they become partners while solving crimes. Um... It's very interesting. I would recommend watching all of them. Um, it's just so intriguing. Moving on to favorite music of the year. Um, I'm skipping favorite movies because I actually cannot figure out a favorite movie that I've like just loved so much that I have to tell you about it this year. So I'm skipping that. Um, so the first one is X's and O's by L. King. It's awesome. Um, <clears throat> It's kind of that song that you just always want to dance to. Like when it comes on the radio, you're like, uh-huh, yes. For the second one, it's Hideaway. Okay, I am going to like say her name so incorrectly. It's honestly so sad. Daya? Now for the albums, I actually have two albums that I have been loving. First off, it's um, Selena Gomez's new album, Revival. Oh my god, that album just speaks to my heart. For the last album, it is 25 by Adele. Her songs are literally the life of me. And that was my 2015 roundup. Okay, so really quickly, before my battery dies, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I enjoyed sharing my 2015 roundup of all my favorites this year. Um, I really hope you guys tell me what your favorites this year were. You can just leave them in the comments. I would love to know. That way I can know some good products to try out for 2016. Um, so yes, make sure you stay tuned for my um, what I got for Christmas slash birthday video. I really wanted to film it, as I said in the intro, but my stuff has not been shipped yet because I did not spend Christmas in Texas this year. 
Um, but yes, I look forward to that and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.